So the IFA2 project is a high voltage electricity interconnector that connects uh, Great Britain to France. The IFA2 project uh, came across um, this, this item uh, during uh, a UXO search. It's very important to have the right people available in the team uh, and to support the team uh, who can advise uh, correctly. We were um, contracted to IFA2 National Grid as their retained archaeologists. So we were providing uh, archaeological support in a variety of roles and circumstances throughout the development. The survey clearance divers identified aircraft material. That was reported to us. The Fleet Air Arm Museum identified it uh, quickly as being a fairy barracuda and that was of tremendous interest to them because of their ongoing barracuda reconstruction project. The aircraft that we're attempting to recreate, that's a Barracuda Mark II. Fairy Barracuda is a, is a particularly important aircraft from World War II. More than 2,500 ordered for the Royal Navy. That's more than any other individual type of aircraft ever ordered and built for the Navy, yet not a single one exists today. We've had a unique experience. Um, to the best of our knowledge, this is possibly the first time an entire aircraft has been archaeologically recovered within UK waters. One of the key things and, and one of the hardest things to obtain when you're looking at historic aircraft are those, those unique moulded parts and unique specially manufactured parts. And what we've discovered through the process of, of this project is we've recovered hundreds if not thousands of these items um, which will just help facilitate the rebuild programme. One of the nicest things is to know that the end result for all the hard work by all the teams involved will be that we are contributing to a, a restoration project that in the long term will be here for the generations to come to look at and enjoy.